I fucking love that shit. I listen to that in the morning when I'm trying to get ready for work. So just hype me up. That shit sucks. Fuck you, dog. Blue face sucks and jungle pussy sucks. Well, I mean, I, like I said on the way here. Like, Did you see like I said on the way here, I've been in a Big Mac mood. A Big, big Mac. Mac mood lately. Like you want a Big Mac? No, like Mac Miller. Oh, like a Big Mac mood. You can't say I'm in a Big Mac mood. It's not yes, like I you can. Want McDonald's. I'm in a Mac Mac mood. Rest dog. in peace, Mac Miller, man. You guys ready to start? Yep. Okay. I want to see you buzz down. Give me a countdown, Cody. Give me a countdown. F- five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Modern Rejects podcast. Modern this Rejects. is Nick. I'm joined with my amigo, Cody. How you doing, Cody? I'm good, man. It's your boy, Cody, with a motherfucking K. A.K.A. Ooh. Damn, Rodney. Cody was in the Bahamas feeding the poor last week. Yeah, last weekend I was uh, I was in DR. He was out there, out there handing out money like six yeah. nine, okay. yeah, uh, giving back to the community. Uh, he he's back now. Um, I'm back. Enough about you. I'm here. Yeah, uh, the girl you heard talking is in the studio for the third time. Uh, Jenna, aka Jenna uh, the original pancake. The original pancake. Is back in the studio for episode 16. One, six, baby. Gang, episode boy. 16, bitch. Hey, been that shit too over long, on too gang. Long. Shut the fuck uh, Cody's going to be quoting. When my nigga Blueface hit that. Cody's going to be quoting uh, Blueface probably the whole podcast, so I apologize Ooh. in advance for that. Uh, uh, episode 16, follow us on the uh, YouTube at Modern Rejects Podcast and also the SoundCloud, on SoundCloud baby. at Modern Rejects podcast get them soundcloud views up hoes. get the views up if you're on the soundcloud hit the like button if you're on tell the your YouTube, grandmama subscribe <laughs> our uh soundcloud uh subscribers going up it is yeah i think it's like 27 hey yeah boy yeah, i know but dude, i know motherfuckers on the soundcloud that um don't put out music and they got like 200 followers bro but they'll be having that since like it fucking came out check this out so on my soundcloud i got 10 followers right yeah but five of those ten followers are famous rappers. Like who? Uh, this nigga named Ludine. Ludacris? No, Ludine. Uh-huh. <laughs> he rapped with a lisp. Ludacris? He rap raps with, with a lisp. Yeah. What he sound like? I pop a ball killer nigga. Don't remember. Hey, you, 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 the pump got fifty on the handle. Hey, this is the thing that you got. YSL no thugger. <laughs> I mean YLS motherfucker. So it's like uh, Ludine. Mike Tyson Rich the kid, rapper. follow me. Rich the kid. Yeah. A couple people, a couple other people too. You hear the uh, snack? This is the thing about people with no, lists. Oh. This, this, <laughs> the thing about people with lists is you gotta be fucking careful because them motherfuckers will fuck you up. You know, you know who got what a big said to me? Yeah, you know who got a big ass list. Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson dog. Mike Tyson. Hey, <laughs> Mike Tyson. I watched this no. video of him. He was on. I don't know if it was ESPN or some sports shit. He was on Joe Rogan. They blindfolded recently. him. Yeah. He had three chances to throw a dart. He threw one, hit the four. Threw another one, bullseye. He's a threw war- another one right next to the, right next to the second one. Another bullseye. He's a warrior, dude. But then they hit that. Did one. you know Mike Tyson got hypnotized back in the day? Did he? Like the guy would tell him, like you're like the best in the world. Like you're gonna destroy people. You're gonna like beat everyone's. Like basically just like put all this shit in his head. But like when he was done with it, with like the fighting and shit, they didn't reverse the 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 um. What did I just say? The curse. Is this like a the curse. is this like a um, a hypothetical? No, it's real. Like what are they called? Conspiracy Ooh, theories? Go. No, it's real. He really got hypnotized. Okay, from like real from his mouth or I like need to get people witness that shit. No, he said like, it. He said. It. Okay, well, yeah. I need. To get I could hypnotized. also say I'm the Pope. That'll make it real. With these hands, I need to get in the box. Boom, boom. You really think he was hypnotized, and now he think he's Almighty? Just. Boom, boom, boom. 
Well, he was the all-time world champion. Yeah, but you think it was because yeah. of hypnotizing? Who was yeah. his son? He Lennox had beat him mm. some shit like that. I don't even know. All I know is that motherfucker was scary, boy. He hit uh, your that ass motherfucker will beat your ass it. and they laugh like this. <laughs> 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 I told you. I, dude, that fool was. That fool was. Hey, did you know Michael Jackson okay. was on uh, The Simpsons? Like as a little parody thing? No, Par- like he what like like saying? he was real life on there. I seen his little like character. they um actually no I didn't that was no on, no uh, Family no they, Guy. they they had him play as like a random character in the show, and he called and he called to uh, Homer's house. And he said, uh, "This is Michael Jackson. I'm in the uh, institution with your father and blah blah blah." And like Bart was like, "Whatever." <laughs> and then like he called back again. And like the uh, producers and shit, they were talking. To me, it was like, yeah, he was really on the show and shit. But the singing that he did on the show wasn't him. Yeah, it was uh, a sound alike. Someone isn't, that sounded just isn't like the Simpsons him. Simpsons still on for like a new season. Hell yeah, nigga. Bro, but they just started a Spongebob new show just called came Disenchantment out. too. Disenchantment. Yeah, it's actually pretty fucking good. It's a cartoon. Yeah, I never really watched the people. Uh, the people that made um, God. Speaking of famous people being in cartoons, do y'all hear about who's gonna be the new uh? New Michael Jordan and Space Jam. Yeah, LeBron, yeah, LeBron. James. That's been out. I'm Who not, else will play? I'm not it? happy about it. Fucking Katie scrawny ass. Shit. Why not Nate Robinson? Do you think they would have put? Do you think they would have put Shaq up for that? I think Shaq. Shaq should, I think Shaq no. will be in it. Shaq. I think he will be. It just has like a not like a. It's like Charles Barkley and then we're yeah, in the movie. It's like a cameo oh, or something. Okay. Like a cameo or something. Okay. Like Bill Murray. Yeah, I think mm. it's gonna be good as fuck. I don't think it's gonna be as good as the uh, as original. original. Original, I don't think but really nothing's ever original. as good as the original. All I know is if they drop some Space Jams this year, I'm copping like three pairs. Yeah, yeah. Those the shoes. Yeah. How much some hoes run you? Like three hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm copping like three pairs. I, I've always wanted a pair of Jordans, but I never owned a pair of Jordans. I also think I'm willing to they pay that kind of. They hurt your feet after a while. Really? I don't think I'm willing to pay that kind of. Nikes money. do the same thing. Bro. I mean, I pay one. You Nikes give me shins one dog. Yeah. One ten for those? Yeah. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna give me a pair of those. And then for my I don't know how much I pay for. For my elevens, my those gray are the ones. ones, right? Yeah, these are yeah. ones. It's my favorite. Elevens, ones, sixes, um, twelves and thirteens are my favorite Jordans. Yeah. I, That's like six different shoes. You're just speaking numbers to me, bro. I don't even know what fucking Jordans is which. Oh my two K <laughs> I'm sponsored by Jordan. Yeah, you got yeah, you got some retro sixes on. I got one. I got all one. I got the one, two, three, four, five, six, and sevens, and eights, and nines, and to the twenties. Yeah. How many is there? Twenty four. Uh, no. More than that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You I shoot. think they got like number thirty two and shit like that. They yeah. got. I think they got like some baseball ones too. That he, when he came out. Uh, the like the uh, Jeter ones. They're, he's a little collab with Jeter. You uh, always talk about sports like shit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll change this topic for you, Cody. You remember when we? I think it was. I don't remember what episode it was, but it was like episode. It was one of the early episodes, right? And you're singing. And like, <laughs> oh, the R. Kelly, pie. dog! You were singing R. Kelly, yeah. dog. I just now fucking realized <laughs> that the other day. Yeah. We don't support R. Kelly on this podcast, bro. <laughs> hey. hey. Nah. All Dude. I'm saying is you was probably made to R. Kelly. Why are you so anti R. Kelly, nah, bro? My parents did not listen to R. Kelly. Hey, I'm why are you why are you so anti R. Kelly, bro? What? Why? We live under a fucking rock. He's yeah. out here pissing on underage women. How you know if they didn't consent to it? He's still pissing on J women. <laughs> if, they're, if they're underage, there's no good. Do you not know anything about R. Kelly, Jenna? No, I know he's singing Mission. That's about it, dog. Uh, no, what the but, fuck? Uh, he's, I don't he's pay attention to that drama R- shit. Goodbye. R-, 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 R. Kelly's been having like accusations against it's him. It's not since, accusations. Like, accusations. No, 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 no. Hold on. Th- but this shit's been going on since like the 90s and shit like that. Like he's been like holding girls like captive, like at his house as like sex slaves. Mm-hmm. Underage. And his wife. His wife was like, if the milk was too cold for his cereal. She get beat, or if it was too warm, he'd shit he'd on she her get face. Beat. Yeah. I made that up. <laughs> I want to know about shit on her face. See, bro, you can say anything. You can put it on the internet, dude. He's he, hey, R. Kelly probably did the. Fucking is it accusations like for real? Is it accusations or is it real life proof? Like no, is it like real life FBI, shit? Like, like this is real life proof. Like like he's now There's under sex investigation. Oh no! There's shit. a tape of him pissing on the little girl. No shit. Fourteen. No shit. Straight pissing. Okay, sorry, R. Kelly. You got the fucking picture, dog. Ignition yeah. was a smack, but... Hey, yeah. All I'm saying is I still like his music. I don't know if I can... Ignition See, like, really just a go-hard there's a one. There's a difference between, Bottom like... Cut, the th- there's a difference between cutting someone off because of their other things besides music, like Kanye. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to cut Kanye off just because of, of his political views, right? Right. Mm-hmm. But R. Kelly pissing on little girls, holding girls captive... 
freezing his shit in the freezer and then fucking the girls with it. Wait, what? I don't know. He probably does that. <laughs> Nick, you just keep saying random shit that comes <laughs> to your head, dog. But I, hey, if R. Kelly pissing on hoes, he's laughing pipe lap in him too. Speaking of little girls getting fucked over, did y'all? Did I tell y'all about what happened to Bryce's little sister? No. Well, hold on. What happened to my little nigga? You know what I'm talking about? I, know she, I ain't gonna say I a name. I know he, uh, he had a little sister. Yeah, she's 16, bro. Don't tell me R. Kelly pissed on her. No. Oh, oh thank God. R. Kelly beat. Sorry. So what happened? I love that little girl. Uh-uh. What happened? They were smoking a dab pen. Uh huh. Lace with Xanax. What? It was a synthetic dab Where'd pen. Where'd she get the shit She from? was just smoking with one of her friends, dog. And then she called me and Bryce. Hey, me and my friends are pulled over on the side of the road. We've all thrown up all over the car. Like, we can't move. We're How like, do you lace a pen with Xanax? It was, synthet- it was, easy, a, it was a synthetic like uh, these, dab pen, too. These new pens that are coming out, yeah. there's some certain brands yeah. that have a holographic cover to them uh-huh. and what people don't realize is if you don't have that holographic cover it's not real or like you got to be right like, you got to be very careful and like know your you shit. gotta be really attentive yeah, to that like, shit dog like if, if if you don't know your shit on these carts don't buy them Mm-mm. don't even try to fuck with them because people are like been uh i've heard like people have been putting um uh, free base and coke like basically you heat it up to it's a liquid mm-hmm. and mix it in with the Mix it in with it. And it's shit so like fucked that. up, dog. Like we are supposed to be the one like, thing that's here's like. My, here's my thing. From the here's, earth. Here's my like theory about that. Like they're charging the same price for the pins with the lace ones. The same price. I have no idea. Yeah. So technically, aren't you losing money? No, technically you're gaining money. How you gain money if you? Because you're buying the carts for way cheaper than you're really buying. The but you still gotta buy no, the other you're, drug. You're paying. You're you're buying the cart for more than that it costs them to make. Because you can go to a little smoke shop out here. And right, get, right. No, get no, no. I understand that. I understand that. But if you're gonna lace it with coke, you also gotta buy the coke. So you, you see what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. buy coke. But I mean, you never okay, know what quantities out, they're but, working but gram, in. I don't know all the facts, coke, dog. Yeah. Gram of coke costs you thirty, forty dollars, depending on who you 30, get it from. Thirty, forty. Yeah. Thirty, forty. They went thirty, forty these days. Thirty to forty dollars. Yeah. Damn, son. Yeah. All right. You might even can get it for cheaper. I don't do coke, so I don't know. <laughs> Shit, thirty forty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's stop. That was the last let's prices let's the I heard. Real quick. <laughs> but anyways, I don't yeah. know. So um, you do that. You bust it down. Mm-hmm. You get. You know what I'm saying. You do your little point twos or whatever. Right. Point twos are twenty bucks. Right. You use that, and then you basically double it because you're charging forty for that cart for the point two of coke that you're putting in. Mm-hmm. So you're getting an extra 20 bucks on top of it, on top of everything that you're getting. Let me do some math here, dude, because it's just like... Okay, total, let's say you spend $24 plus the Coke in the cart and some little bullshit um, terpenes that you put in it or whatever or some little solvent that you go buy or whatever. Right. And then you mix it up. You make about $10, $15 profit. You get all that. It's just like, what what do you get out of lacing some shit? I don't know. Some people are sick, over. bro. Yeah. Some people are sick. Bro, we were just no, talking about a dude that pisses ass, on fourteen year olds. There's dead ass people that be out there putting can that putting razor blades and candy and shit, bro. Yeah, I, that 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 shit you gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, I don't know, dog. I I just want to be out here lacing fucking like motherfuckers be like jacking off to that shit, you know? Bro. Ew, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ew. And speaking of jacking off. Ew. <laughs> Let's not take it there. We're going, Let's we're, not use that as a segue. Last weekend, going to League City, right? We're crossing under this bridge. I'm driving. Leighton is <sighs> knocked, nigga. So you jacked off while he was sleeping? <laughs> That's what it seems like. Whoa. <laughs> it seems like you segue to jack it off, dog. Where Whoa. you going with hold this? Hold on. Hold on. So we're crossing under this bridge. Yeah. And there's this hobo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There's these two hobos. <laughs> One, the lady's bent over. Like showing her ass. Oh, they were fucking dudes like this. They were hobo fucking. Yeah. Or was he? I mean, they're both dirty, so they ain't like touching, but they're like. Oh, touching. so they're smart hobos. They're no, like catching they were, they were about to have sex. He was just getting his dick hard. <laughs> you know what? He's like, damn, this bitch smell like fucking garbage and shit. I gotta jack <laughs> my shit off for a second. I gotta close my I'm damn dead, eyes. I'm dead, dog. Shit. I'm dead. How would you feel <coughs> if a hobo? If I saw hobos fucking? Yeah. Uh, just another day in Arlington. Yeah. <laughs> Just another day in Arlington. Yeah. Just saying. I see, dude, that's the thing. I see so many hobos in Arlington and shit. 
You can't you can't pull out of a neighborhood without seeing somebody with a sign like "Help me feed my family" and buy some weed. I've always wanted to go get a case of water and help a hobo out. Oh, bro, I've drove I've, I've drove around with a box of fucking Subway sandwiches, hand out sandwiches, all people, a bunch of people around. You give a hobo a Subway sandwich. I feel bad. Bitch, I don't want a Subway sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I ain't I giving you money. money. I ain't giving you money, but if you got a sign that says, oh, I'm trying to feed my feed them with that fucking Subway sandwich sign, dude. Yeah. You don't need no $10. This, I was watching this video with Sauce Walker. He was giving out money to, like, the homeless in the hood and shit. Who, Walker? Yeah, Sauce Walker. It's never heard of him. Either. Yeah, never heard of Sauce Walker. No, no. like I said, I live Probably under a rock. Rapper. No, you're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... He was handing out money, and this one dude thought he could be slick and stand on the driver's side of the car where his homie was driving. He's on the passenger side. Right. So he handed him money, then all these other people started, like, running up from the other side to the passenger side. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you, you. motherfucker. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Motherfucker's almost 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Cody, Cody. aka Damn Ronnie. <laughs> Happy what? birthday to you. you. Happy wow. birthday, bro. Boy, your candles out, boy. Now, Cody just dreamed for all the fat one. hoes in the world. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, that you want to I almost cried, bro. Like for real. Like I've never in my life in 25 years ever had this done to me. Yeah, no, I heard, I heard it was your birthday. Hey, get you a little cake. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> and I know, and I know you got the munchies right now, so I know you want to eat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to eat. gonna get some for it. Yo, I think I caught on to your laugh low key, but I made it more high pitched. Yeah. So I was like, ha ha, <laughs> like it's just bad. It's like uh, uh, Kawhi that's Leonard. Crazy. You got yeah, a whole boy. ass cake. That's great. Appreciate you, man. I so me and Mal get uh, cake when we, for our birthdays. We just get each other that cake. Uh-huh. It's so fucking good, dude. Is it? It's so fucking it good. good. Yeah, it's fuck. It's chocolate. Oh hell yeah, my favorite! Thank you, love. My favorite, thank you, Mal. Thank you, love. Mal. Mal's our uh, intern. <laughs> <laughs> you call her an intern with an M. <laughs> intern. Intern. Yeah, hell yeah, boy. Wow. Twenty five, this motherfucker. 25. For you listening at the home, you're old. Yeah, dog. Cody's birthday is on Sunday, and the motherfucker is turning twenty five years old. Twenty five. The motherfucker about thirty. Bones start cracking. <laughs> The fool gonna wake up in the morning. My bones is. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you gonna start going to sleep at six o'clock in the afternoon, I fool. <laughs> what you mean? Dinner, <laughs> you have to go dinner to sleep at Luby's at four thirty. Dinner at Luby's. <laughs> hey, I had dinner at Luby's last night. Luby's yeah. go hard, fool. Luby's I used to go to Luby's good. for uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Luby's is good. I used to go to Luby's for Thanksgiving. I no I shit. Went there, I went there and yeah. had their little Thanksgiving right. meal before. It's dope. Uh, be fire. damn, dude, twenty five, man. I thought you were turning twenty four. Hold on, let me double check. <laughs> yeah, no, you forgot. Ninety four to two thousand nineteen, twenty five. Yeah. Try to get uh Dylan up here, but he couldn't make it. Yeah, he he's in. Uh, yeah, he's out with Bryce. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, fuck, man. Let's uh let's take a break so you can fucking eat your cake. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah. We'll be back after the sponsored messages. I fucking love that show, Arthur. That's yeah. where I got it from. He's like, I'm gonna order him up, order me up a um. A big pie from Domino's. Arthur is uh, Costanza's dad on Seinfeld. Is he? Yeah, he's always fucking yelling and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back uh, on on the podcast, man. Uh, Cody ate uh, his cake. You was a good cake guy? Yeah, she was good. Chocolate, bro. I just thought you liked chocolate because you're I black. I like chocolate. I was going to pull the racist card and I said, you got to like chocolate. I don't know but I don't know one black person. Well, me and my mama. <laughs> uh, Jenna. What's up? When you die, do you mm-hmm. think you're going to go to heaven, hell, or be reincarnated? Uh, to be honest with you, I think I'm going to go to heaven. I mean, I did some dumb shit, but I think God's going to be like, hey, man, I did make you human. Don't you think heaven's a little, like, I'm going to say this and, like, try to say this in, like, the most. It's a little overrated. That and, like, the most non-religious way or, like, without, like, uh, cashing out my ticket. <laughs> But, like, isn't that heaven, like, a little silly to you? Like, that's what I mean by, like, overrated. Like, it's just a little... Over-exaggerated is really the word I'm looking for. Heaven's tricky. 
I got, I got, I got a huge thing about heaven. Because they say if you, it, I got a whole thing about all three of them. You Limbo. Would you repent before you die? But so you're telling me Jeffrey? No, Dahmer. no, 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 no. Nah, it's Jeffrey not. Jeffrey Dahmer got his ass beat. He didn't know he was going. <laughs> it's yeah. not if you pray before you die. And by the way, when no, you die, you have like if you like repent before, before you're about repent, to die, you say, bro. Jesus, I'm sorry for all my sins. Please take me to heaven right now. Please right. keep me safe. Right. That's repenting. Right. That's repenting. That ain't praying. Praying's like. Hey Lord, please protect my I, my I've dog. I've recently been looking into reincarnation. That shit real. And what I mean by reincarnation, I don't mean like you're gonna be reincarnated like a flower or like a wolf. <laughs> no, like, like through another, another person. person. Through another person. But yeah. you don't know that. That's you're why people say oh. like your birthmarks are like where you died last. King. Oh, I've never heard that. Before. Oh yeah, bro, my, my birthmarks King. right here. I think I got shot. My little brother King <laughs> lives yeah. through Kai. Maybe dude. every fucking aspect. Of Kai is just like King. Maybe and he passed away. Mm. My niece passed away, and my niece now, it looks. I mean, like it's like almost like you just said, like she's living through her. Mm-hmm. It's almost like, or he's living through him. It feels like she's living through her. It's the weirdest thing. Oh. But, I, but I think like through the reincarnation, you won't fucking know that you like. No, you don't know. You just you born didn't go nowhere. You're just yeah. born again, right? Yeah. But like that makes more sense. Hey, where's like, that light at the end of the tunnel? Is you being born again? Whoa, whoa, that's nuts. Because yeah, right, 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 right before you die, that you have a fucking you have a flash, a flash. Whoa, you're coming out the pussy. Yep, <laughs> all over again. So I said, like, I see the light. He's like, go towards the pussy. Oh my God! What do you See, think about that? I really think everybody can go to heaven. That's what I think too. Because Yo, it ain't our. The, the, the whole thing is like it ain't our choice though. Because in the Bible it says that you're an image of God, right? Which means God made you in His image. Mm-hmm. So which means that when Jesus died and He looked into the future and forgave everybody for their sins, if you really forgave everybody for their sins, then why is there still hell? Why are people still, still going to hell? They're still bad shit. They're still bad people. But, here's but, a, here, but if you, but if you forgave them for their sins, if you forgave them, right? But it's like it's like it's like the, the jail for eternity, bro. It's like if you do some really fucked up shit here, you're gonna go down there for some really fucked up shit you did up here. Like if, if you, you rape no like choice. 15 people and then you go, sorry, God, he's like, not gonna be okay, like, okay, okay, yeah, you're I, good. That I understand. But like, what if you're a motherfucker in the hood? And you have no choice. Like someone runs up on you, tries to kill you. Then he, he and you kill he'll them. You see that, bro? He's a merciful God. Y'all talking to the wrong is person. Is he merciful? Exactly. I'm a PK, bro. Is he merciful? If he's merciful, then how come those 15 bitches that that nigga rape can't go to heaven? He's merciful in different ways. I can't explain it. Y'all expect me to explain an entire religion that I only know the basis of. This is what drives me nuts, dude. About about Christianity, is is they say if you're gay, you can't get in. Oh yeah, there's so many. There's so yeah, much. Yeah, you had your up fucking shit. mind, right? That makes no sense. I understand that. Yeah. Absolutely no. The church I go to, um, they're not. They don't. They, that's not how they. Which, by the way, I don't stand by every everything. That's not in how the they Bible. walk. Though. I, I know a couple gay people that go there, but like that's not like the thing there. Like they're they're not the type of people. Where, like if you say fuck, they're like, oh, you just messed up. You know? Yeah. Like they're really gay, understanding it. It just genuine make, is really the word. It just does, doesn't make sense that if if you're gay, you go to hell. <laughs> it, does that not sound a little fishy to you? That's what it says in the Bible. But who said it? Jesus. Who knows like, who wrote the bitch? Jesus was sitting up. Jesus was sitting there drinking some wine. He goes, "Hey, dog." Or this motherfucker walked by, right? Some fucking cuck get a fucking plump ass on him, right? A fucking bottom. And he, um, and bottom. Went, and one of his little servants looked at him, checking him out. Jesus goes. Jesus goes like this. He goes, "Hey, you suck his dick, send you straight down." <laughs> what? I think. How do we know Jesus didn't fool around? Yo, straight up. Because Jesus was black. All I know so is you're that saying black man and gay. <laughs> God damn. All I'm saying is back then there was no such thing as black men being. Did, did, did you ever notice, like in the Jesus movies back then, there was no black people? Yeah, there was none at all. So you're telling me, but at all the same time, the Israelites were black. 
that's the my Moors thing. are black. That's my thing. Is like it was like that in the movies that they make it look like one day a fucking black man came out of nowhere. They're like, what the fuck is this? You remember that movie Troy? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they made another one like Brad a TV Pitt. series. Yeah. And Troy is a black guy. Yeah, he yeah. is. That is yeah. facts. Is yeah, he yeah, fresh yeah. fade? No. He is Bro? a he is a good looking dude though. Is I mean, he? Brad like Pitt? Oh, man. We're not talking about Brad Pitt. No, I know. I'm talking about the, the, talking black, about the black guy, guy. though. He's a pretty good-looking dude. Oh. I mean, that's why I was like, they picked a pretty good-looking dude to follow up for Brad Pitt. Right. Yeah. You know who's a good-looking black dude? Me. Idris Stop Elba. It. He just won the Sexiest Idris. Man of the Year. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Idris. 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 Sorry. Um, um, Everybody mad that he the What the fuck's it? Creed. Said. What's his name? Oh, oh Michael, B. Michael B. Jordan. Jordan. Michael yeah. B. Jordan. That nigga ugly. Wow, he's gorgeous. If I was a gay if I was a gay man... I'd have to go out for Michael B. Jordan. Bruh. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. And that's only if Michael was gay. He I might know. be gay. He might be gay. You never know. I you think Channing Tatum's bisexual. He is. How do you know? You can look at him and tell. No, nah, dog. <laughs> Fuck you. He got to like admit to that shit. Yeah. Hey, all I'm saying is LL Cool J been spotted in underground gay clubs. LL Cool J a cuck. Whoa. <laughs> so why is... Okay, so why is cuck, cuck holding called... Not called... Cock holding, cause it's because not cock not holding. holding. Cock, I guess. So what do you hold? What's the cuck? Look up the what the word cuck means. Uh, you're talking. Cuck. Look at my goddamn search history. <laughs> Mally gonna be like, "What the fuck you been Why watching?" Why is cuck holding? No, just. <laughs> What? What should I type in? No, I mean you can look up that. I'll look up something else. Why I just is look up the meaning it for cuck holding? called cuck holding? Cuck means a weak or servile man. Often used as a contem- contemptuous term for a man with moderate or progressive po- political views. A man whose wife is sexually unfaithful. A cuckold. So someone just made up the word cuck then. Mm-hmm. Cuck isn't really like a thing. Okay, every word ever is a word that someone went, oh yeah, I'm going to make that a fucking word. Isn't that like nuts? Cake. Hmm. Isn't that nuts how they made like, up dude, words? Like, dude, that's lit. That wasn't a fucking thing to our generation. Words, someone's just fucking, they go, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sex. That, Sex. That. These are my testicles. <laughs> isn't that nuts? Like, who who did this? It's all a conspiracy. Fellas. Did you see that high pitch laugh I was talking about? Yeah, it's you like, like yours fucking Kawhi way Leonard. higher. You sound like fucking Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Did you see that press conference he did? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. That laugh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, to be, well, well, to be honest, I I can't give you the whole spill. And to be honest, I ain't know where you sitting at right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. But uh, uh, <laughs> the yeah. internet will forever win. So here's a good one for you. Did you hear about that Latour you wrote? What the one oh, that R. Bro, Kelly we pissed about on? This on the no. way. It was so f- it was a twelve year old being convicted of capital murder. <laughs> it's another murder it's one, dog. Murder. It's, another <laughs> it's another murder so, one, dog. Everybody loves this murder shit. Hey, it keeps popping up. Motherfucker like Ja Rule murder. Mur- hey, you see DMX just got out of jail yesterday? I didn't see that. He's on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck. He's on the loose. My man's out of there. He said, you know what? I'm out the gate, nigga. DMX just took off. Peace. Just took off running. D- so M- X- what happened to... R- R- did, uh, did you see the... Jenny, Jenny play? Have you seen the Fry documentary? Who? The Fire Fest. Y'all never heard of the Fire Fest? You uh-huh. know, I mean, I've, I've heard of okay, it. But okay, I've listen, listen. It. I'm going to break this down for y'all. There was supposed to be this thing called the Fire Fest, mm-hmm. the Fire Festival, mm-hmm. which is similar to the Coachella. So they was gonna have a whole bunch of music acts, whatever. Mm-hmm. They wanted it, it. It was this guy named Billy. He Billy. had a team. Billy was like entrepreneur guy, y- young guy. Was he gay? I think he was a cuck. Okay. He wanted to so he do it. Like yeah, he he wanted to do a festival, so he went to the Bahamas and got a spot. So like Rolling Loud. Somewhat, yeah, and. The place that he wanted to get was uh, Pablo Escobar's um, his old, mansion old his, like his old island, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, but they didn't end up getting that because they got kicked off because they didn't have the funds for it. So they went to another island that was just shit. The island was like in the works, that's in the Bahamas, mm-hmm. and he wanted to set this festival. The festival had like Blink One Eighty Two, Lil Yachty, uh, just like not that big of. I mean, like, I, I heard, yeah, I heard the lineup and shit. Yeah, so. 
he fucking it's on FYRE festival yes yeah so he paid all these Instagram models to come out and Ja Rule was like a little co-signer in it right <laughs> fuck Ja Rule that motherfucker dude who the fuck is Ja Rule dude yeah. you know who Ja Rule is uh, oh hold on I know I know we exactly know who, he who he is we know who he is but who is he now oh. what does he say in Fast and Furious when he's driving no he says the girl's name Monica Monica Yes. And you see Fast and Furious? Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. No matter if you win or lose. <laughs> yeah. But if you win, you get her too. Yes. Yo, I'll agree for that. Hey, what's, yo, up? I'll agree for that. what's your problem, nigga? You didn't win. Oh. Woo! Fuck you then. Yes, dude. That was his last words. Oh, God. That was his only clip in the movie, yep, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. So, Not too much. Anyways, too much. This Billy guy goes out and he, he, he gets these Instagram models. and country. He, He's a white guy. Okay. Makes these infomercials that like with these uh with the Instagram models to make it look like it's gonna be the shit, right? Mm-hmm. He starts selling villas. He starts selling um B R and B uh, B R and B and B's B R and B's B R B's B R B's B R B's B and B's. You show this to the security, you get right back in here. <laughs> and he and then for the housing, he said there's gonna be luxury tents. So like big tents with like couches and TVs. Like ten people tents. Yes. But like uh, like stacked to the max with like cool shit. Yes. Yes. But like oh, artificial bro. tents. And it's all on the shit ass island. Yes. But the t- the tickets were outrageous amount of money. The villas were outrageous. Like how much were they? Five thousand dollars for a, a tent. Bruh. Like Who that type of shit. Guy? He made a small company for a credit card for millennials that like helped you save money and shit. So he was like an entrepreneur or whatever. The documentary is insane. I, you need to watch. It's called Fry. Uh, the documentary. Fry or fire? I think it says F R Y E. So fry. Fire. Fire is that how you spell fire? No, fire is F I R E. F I R E. But they switched the. Is it F Y R E or F R Y E? F Y. Yeah, F Y R E. Yeah. So it's fire. So anyways, he he charged all these tickets and then he. Where's it on? It's on Netflix. Okay. Oh no shit. So he starts booking. He starts putting shit out like on Instagram, right? Telling people to come out and shit, and every and everybody's paying and paying and paying. Like, dude, this dude sells the whole thing out. Mm-hmm. So he's missing like like five hundred to six hundred tents for people, and the tents weren't luxury. They were like they were old tents from Hurricane Katrina. Katrina, yeah. So he would set the tents up, and then like it looked like a concentration camp, dude. And he like tells people like. To fly him in, you with the with the ticket comes a, a, a ticket on an airplane, a ticket there and back, and then you get on a luxury bus. And the airplanes are all private planes, so the people show up, they're not private planes. This is a regular plane that they do the logo on, and they fly him out there on a bus, and they're not even ready for all these people to come in yet. They're like they don't have anything set up. The construction's still not done. They don't have enough money for th- some of the people they put on the list for the book wasn't even in the thing. Like didn't they never even called them? Um, barely had water. Didn't have enough food. It was a fucking Honestly, nightmare. Honestly, I want to say I heard about shit this. Show, you probably had because it. I never heard very, about very it, but they familiar. said if you, on the social show. media said it was fucking crazy. They paid um, Kendall Jenner. Um, I think it was like twenty five thousand. 25000 just to promote the thing on Instagram, which was an orange tile, like just an orange background, and then she just put like fire fest, whatever. So people get there, and like it's just like, it's mayhem. They go to this restaurant where like all the people are hanging out, and the black lady there has to spend $50,000 out of her own pocket to feed these people because Billy didn't pay her. And basically, they go to the tents, and the, there's mattresses still out. The day of the the people arriving, it poured rain, so it leaked through the tents. Got the Whoa. whole tent soaking wet. People are there. People, and then like they start realizing what like what's going down. This like is this scam. is a scam. Yeah, so they start running around like savages, dog, grabbing fucking mattresses, throwing them on their heads, grabbing toilet paper, like scavenging for their lives, dog. And then mind you, these tickets are like five thousand dollars. So like you got to be a rich motherfucker to go there. Hell yeah, and. The day, like that, like the next day that everybody wakes up, there's no food, there's no water. They cancel the festival and then they have to go, they have to fly them back, but they didn't have enough airplanes to fly everybody back. So the people go to the airport, 
They go people get people go to the airport. Spend out of their own pocket. <laughs> own pocket. Go to the airport. They they have to stay in the airport. They lock them in the airport because they had to close the airport down. So they lock the doors in. They have no food, no water, no anything, dog. And then Billy didn't pay any of the people. The people that were working for them uh-huh. had to, um, they were from the Bahamas. He didn't pay any of them. He didn't pay any of, his, of employers. He, the lady had to spend fifty thousand dollars in her pocket. She had to, they made go fund me for her, so she got like a hundred two thousand dollars back. Uh, and then like it's dude, I recommend it. It's just fucking insane. What is it called? Fire festival. Fire festival. Wow. Nuts. The dude's facing six to eight years in jail. Hell yeah. And one of the Falsifying dudes, rec- yeah, one of the dudes on there, he's a gay dude. Billy or Billy couldn't um, clarify the water to come in from um, from the border control. Mm-hmm. So he asked the dude if he could go suck it, suck the guy off to get the water. And so the guy goes home. He's like, the guy that was on the documentary, he's like, I went home, uh, took a shower. He's a gay guy. Took a shower, uh, put mouthwash in, and I drove over there to suck his dick. And then thank God that dude was nice enough. And he said, I don't have to. I just got to pay him later. And the dude, oh, and so this is the thing. He gets, he gets, he, he gets put in jail, this Billy guy. He gets out on bonds. Right, and he doesn't have no, skips ball. He he doesn't have no money to pay anything. He oh, still owes these workers, right? So he's in, he's on fraud for that. He goes into another scamming technique. You ever get like the emails that's like get three tickets to the Grammys? Yeah, he did that. He's he put out tickets to the Grammys. He put out tickets to a golf tournament, tickets to um like Lakers games and shit. Then he got like five people for like twenty five thousand dollars. So they added on to his sentence. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, man. Who the fuck is this Billy guy? It's white. Entrepreneur guy, dude. Bro. Yeah, he's a motherfucker. What the fuck? He got to get beat up for that shit. Yeah, Hell no. Nah. Jaw Rule just looks like a fucking idiot in that. Fuck Jaw Rule. That's one thing I want to segue into. Weenie, Deeny, Heeny, Feeny yeah. ass nigga. That's one thing I want to segue into is self, uh, self-care. Hey. Mike Miller. Hold on, hold on. Mac Miller. Be- be- before, before, you, before you get into the self care, you know some get, high shit. Guess. He sings self care. He has a song called oh, yeah, self care. That song. From a time zone. But what do I know? That's I've my shit right it. there. That's on Good Morning? No. Swimming. Swimming. Uh, oh, it was new. Hey, swimming. did you did you hear about uh, Chris Hansen? Who's Chris Hansen? What happened? From To Catch a no, Predator. No, 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 oh, what yeah, yeah, yeah. He I got arrested. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. It for says what? the journalist is accused of bouncing checks and failing to pay thousands of dollars for marketing material, police say. At least one for pedophilia. That'd be a fucking irony. Wouldn't that be bro? some shit? I, yeah. I actually just listened, listened to a podcast he was on. He talks like this, and he goes, you know, the thing is, is when we were doing that show, um, he just talks like a fucking asshole. I know exactly He's what you're talking about. He's a fucking cuck. <laughs> That's your new favorite word, Nick. Yeah, I call everybody cucks. Yeah. <laughs> Especially people that don't have self care. Now let me tell you what I mean by self care, okay? Okay. Not Mac Miller's self care. So Mac Miller's self care is like song, um though. is like spiritual awareness. Shout out Mac. Yeah, R. I. P. Mac. Yeah, R. I. P. What I mean by self care is these motherfuckers yeah. I see at the gym, right? Here's my thing. If I'm going out Working to take out with a Coca Cola in their hand, not, no, 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 not that. I okay. mean, self care as in like the way you dress, the way you present. Oh, uh, I got you, dog. You see what I'm I saying? got you, dog. If I'm yeah, going out to the yeah, garbage, yeah, 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 I yeah. still look fly, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> I feel I'm you. taking a shit. You still look still fly. Still look fly. I yeah. got on my joggers and J's when I'm taking a shit. No, mm-hmm. hey, I'm telling you, I got a cigar in my mouth. Puffing on that shit. Yo, you want fly. you know you want to know what I'm talking about? Self care. I paid twelve dollars for a pack of cigarettes. That were gold, gold tip filtered, like pure gold tip filtered, and they were assorted rainbow colored. What are these? So they're I called California talking. Dreams. Where can you get these? My smoke shop. They're cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Really? They come in like a little box like this, like kind of flat. They come like a little p- flat plastic box. Are they yeah. good? Oh, bro. Really? They're like blacks. They're, yeah, they're they're. Oh, black. so you can inhale them, hoes? Oh yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna give me a pack. They're smooth. Come up. I might give me a pack. Kind of sweet. I'll get you really? back, bro. Yeah. Uh, but 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 what I mean by self care is like these motherfuckers that just like don't care about their appearance. Don't care about their appearance. How do you not care about your fucking appearance? Like some ripped up ripped up tank top. Not, not even that. They get like some fucking like some fucking a one baggy ass shorts on with a tight ass like fucking belly hanging out and shit and like 
I'm just good. like some like Walmart kicks and just like it's just like dog you don't like dress and then look in the mirror for a good fucking second no a lot of Honestly, people don't dog. actually check themselves out before they even like I'm get checking dressed the mirror shit. dog I don't get a mirror right in here right now and I'm fucking losing my mind dude cause you're fucking with your hair so much you like my hair yeah, yeah. you're doing a new style with it I cut the whole thing off. I'm, th- I'm about to die. I'm about to, um, this time, instead of doing uh, on blonde, I'm going to do streaks. Yeah. But anyways. So you're going to look like a dyke teacher from the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> nah, motherfucker. I ain't going to do the tips, <laughs> motherfucker. But I, I just fucking hate seeing these dudes Walden. that just walk around with the fucking, just don't give a goddamn shit about the world. It's like, bro, just. Die. I'm thinking about somebody no. in in particular right now. I no. don't, I don't want to say his name. No, say his name. Call him. No, man. bro. Dude, do it. No, it's 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 rude. Here on the Modern Rejects podcast, we have no filter. Ah, uh, it'll hurt his feelings. I mean, he probably already knows, but it'll probably hurt his oh, feelings. Cheetah. No. Jeremy, you know what she's. Jeremy, you know she's talking you, Jeremy. to you, Jeremy. It's my. It's Get my, your shit together, it's man. It's one of my exes that used to wash their body with Dawn dishes. Oh, oh, are you talking about Morgan <laughs> Fox? Yeah, yeah. Bro, that nigga would literally get up yeah. and wear the same shirt he wore four days in a row. He ago. called it his Sunday shirt. Yeah, I know. Do you, were you there when Colin crashed into his Camaro? <laughs> when Colin crashed into no. I mean, crashed into his um, to his Mustang. To his Mustang. No. no. Who gives a shit? About that, that I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to chop this up and send it to Colin. So we're we're at um um what's the two brothers? Joe and Joe and Thomas. Joe and Thomas. At their shop. At their shop. Uh, the huge, the huge. And, and, and we're having like a little party or whatnot. And, or they're having a party. I was just a little guest. I don't know. And Colin, and I don't know, Colin was about to go back to the crib, right? Because he got himself a little honey. <laughs> and I think you know who the honey was. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know who the honey was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the, oh, yeah. I know who yeah. the honey was. I know who the honey was. Uh, So he about to go back to uh the crib and he hops in his Camaro. My my boy, my folk got an SS Camaro, second gen, right? <laughs> Boom! This hoe ain't cheap. And then eighty k. Yeah, and then this motherfucker, um, Morgan's got a uh, Roush. Yeah, stage yeah, I know. Two. Yeah, fuck, they're both fucking second. Yeah, they're right? they're both beautiful yeah. cars. He's got a Mustang. Mustang. What was it? Mustang Roush. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And uh, it's first of all, don't park your fucking Roush next to the Mustang, bro. He don't did do that, that on purpose to be a little fucking yeah, little I know. piece of shit dickhead. So he fucking... I'm Col- sure what the fuck I don't remember it. what happened because Colin wasn't drunk or nothing. Colin wasn't like intoxicated or nothing. No one really was. Right. And he fucking wow. backs out, bro, and he just rams right in the side of this motherfucker's car, dude. Is that what the big ass dent was? Yes. And Colin... And I'm like, he got right, that bitch repoed. I'm right there, dude. Yeah, he did because his fat ass computer. I'm <laughs> right there, dude. And I'm like... <laughs> Colin, just do Colin gets out of the car, <laughs> looks at it, and goes, You ever seen that little black kid <laughs> on Vine? He's like, uh, uh, Oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, Colin goes, was Colin. Colin goes, Oh my god. Puts his hands up like this and just starts walking. There's like, because, like, you know, there's like, like half a mile. Yeah. He just started to road. leave. <laughs> my boy just starts walking with his hands on his head. <laughs> And the girl comes out and she's like, because everybody go hook up. So this is ruined. Right. And Colin's uh, walking. <laughs> the girl looks at me and she goes, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> I said, well, you ain't fucking. That's all I know. <laughs> I you ain't fucking. I'm dead, dog. And then, all, and then so Colin's walking down there. He's got his hands on his head. He's flipping out. Because like he pays for that shit. Like that's yeah. all him. Yeah. And the girl... The girl had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. She starts like she's like I, I tell her that she ain't fucking. She like looks this way, looks this way, and just goes. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck are you <laughs> crying for? She's like, I just cheated on my boyfriend. I'm like, well, bitch, that's the least of our fucking worries <laughs> right now. So I don't give a fuck about that. Oh, I'm like, He'll be fine. I said that can I'm be dead. prepared. This is gonna cost thousands of repairs. For real. And I go down to Colin. I'm like, dog, you're good, dog. He's like, dude, I, I don't know what to do. And then Honestly, one of the little just got the fuck out of there. <laughs> one of the pricks outside that was friends with Morgan, um, run, dude, full sprint inside of Morgan. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. He hit your car. Yeah, he hit your car. But this dude goes, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Stop messing with me. Stop playing around. He's like, no, nah, dude, I'm serious. 
He goes outside, and you'd have thought that they, you'd have thought they fucking shot this motherfucker's mom, dude. He goes, "Oh no, what the fuck? Oh, what yeah. the fuck? Who did it? Oh yeah." Who, I'm, I'm sitting like, "Who the fuck you think you did it, dog? It's fucking whose car is it, motherfucker?" And everybody's like trying to call me, like, "Dude, it's gonna get fixed. It's gonna get what's? It's gonna get fixed." Okay. Chill the it's fuck not out. the end of the world. It's not like he's gonna not. It's materialistic ever. shit. Chill the it's fuck like out. He's gonna, exactly, I mean, that's a lawsuit bro. if he doesn't fix it. Exactly. You bro. know he's gonna fix it. Yeah. And then it's just a shit show, man. And then we we had a calm. It, it was about like a 30, 45 minute thing. And then finally we got calm to calm down. And then we just fucking partied on. And then we got drank. <laughs> yeah. And then that's when old girl was like. Take me home. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. Dude, this girl was devastated. You know what's dude. funny? Huh. Jeremy took that bitch the next day to the bus station so she could drive down to go see her boyfriend and apologize. Damn, that's right. I think he, I listen, it was I think he listens to the podcast. He do. Yeah, he he likes a couple of things. He do. That's my nigga. Well, I think he knows anyway. He wants. To, he, he don't know all that. Yeah, he wants, now to come he, on. he wants to come on. Yeah, he wants to come this on. This is going to be new news to him. Fuck. Yeah, we're flagging on the Modern Retex <laughs> podcast, boy. Keep it real this shit, got, boy. Got a little bit of that tea, sis. Got a little bit of that tea. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Gotta hit that pinky up. Pinky it. Damn, boy. That's how my dad drinks Dr. Pepper out the can, out the bottle. He out drink, the two liter. With the pinky up, with the <laughs> pinky up nigga. Look, he, I be drinking sometimes. I hit the pinky up. I don't give a fuck. Sometimes I'll be doing that shit. I'll be hitting that hole like that. And I'll be like. Damn, dude, but good times, man. Bro. Good times. Do you, all right, so growing up, yeah. did you ever, you and your friends, do the, oh, I'm staying the night at this person's house, I'm staying the night at this person's house, and you were but y'all don't. Right. You just stay out running around the city. Oh, oh fuck oh, yeah, bro. Did you do that shit? Oh, that oh I got a story up, for yeah. that, peep, dog. Peep, peep. <laughs> so one night, it's me, my boy Jason, my boy Jordan, my boy Kane. Well, no, was Kane with us? No, it was me, Jordan. Uh, Jason and uh, Adam. Right. All four of us. It, at first, it was like ten of us, bro. But everybody split. Some niggas went home. Some niggas went to go fuck. Lame. Whatever. Yeah. Lame. We yeah. stayed true. <laughs> yeah. Gang. Some so gang shit. We go up to this old news. So I'm gonna say it. Fuck yeah. it. So we go up to uh, the Seven Eleven down off Green Oaks in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. That was when the drink, the purple drink can came out. So I that's when I oh, we saw those, bro. To mix with the lean. Right. Exactly. Right. So I got a can and like everybody got a can. Mm-hmm. So they're like, Cody, since you're tired, you're probably going to go to sleep. I was like, you're probably right. Cracked the hoe open, and drank about half of it. We get to ditto, bro. Hey, dog, you're pulling my cord. Emma? Yeah. No, it's around <laughs> my leg. I'm going to lose my mic. Can't just pull all the things up. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> so so we go to so we go to uh, Ditto Elementary and we're chilling. Yeah. So we're like, all right, fuck it, we're just gonna sit not here because we're all tired now from that drink. We're like, fuck it, whatever. Next pass out. Wake up. I hear a little girl kicking around in the rocks and shit. And we wake up, and this and the little girl's mom just like staring at us, like, the fuck are y'all doing sleeping on the playground? Oh, y'all fell asleep at the playground. Yeah, on the playground. Right. Like on the jungle gym and shit. And so Jason calls his mom. He's like, hey, we need you to come pick us up from Ditto. It's like ASAP. She's like, okay, I'm at uh, Whataburger getting you guys breakfast. I'll be there in a second. She's like, I'm <laughs> what pulling a good out the line mom. right now. What a good fucking so mom. Like, so uh, we get back to school Monday. Principals are asking around, hey. Do y'all know anybody, any teenagers that got that were seen up at Ditto Elementary sleeping on the playground? Mm-hmm. And they specifically asked us four. It just so happened when us four were together at lunch. We were like, no, nah, we don't know nothing about it. They're like, okay, because we really need to find these guys. They're on AISD website, so they're like a number one priority. <laughs> Crime like, stoppers. Exactly. Yeah. Right. We're like, if y'all don't say shit, we good. I remember when they used to come on the fucking announcements in high school and they go, if you have like someone like vandalized some shit and they'd be like, if you have any more information, contact Crime Stoppers or go to CrimeStoppers.com. Crime Stoppers got me arrested, dog. Crime Stoppers also got me arrested. When I was 14. I was 18. Fuck that bitch, dog. Fuck Crime Stoppers. CrimeStoppers.com. Pussy. Fucking bitches. Fuck you guys for 75 I also, bucks. I also got caught sleeping up at Young Junior High on the pole vault mat. 
Hey dog, from what I'm hearing, I think you just need to go to fucking your house and go to sleep. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you're gonna get a purple drink, this dog, motherfucker over here. Mo- hey, you know what? I'm starting to think he was the hobo on the side of the road jacking off. Fucking, you fucking that lady. Oh no, yeah, I was not doing that if I was driving. Maybe you made it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't Watch nothing. out, Rodney. Watch out. Rodney not making nothing. Rodney. Up. Damn, speaking of back in the day, do you remember when motherfuckers would wear the tap out shirts? Oh, bro. Don't say back in the day. Don't say back in the day because my uncles still do that shit. Every day, dude. Tap out. I was loaded in the tap out shirts, but I had one tap out that was uh, silver with black. No, no, no. Silver with the uh, uh, royal blue, like this color right here. Yeah. Tap out. I saved it for Fridays only. Bitch, you're ugly Fridays for that. Fridays only. <laughs> you're <laughs> ugly for that. He had, he had a white. He had a white one with black. But you got tape on the Monday. back to say Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Boy, I was, I was stunting on these hoes, dude. Shut the fuck. You ain't stunting on nobody with no tap out shirt, do? dog. <laughs> what do you do with a shirt that's got a hole in it? What do you do? You with get it? rid of that bitch because we bougie up in here. What do, we, what do you mean? If it's got a hole in it, like over here, you got a hole in your shirt. You're like, oh, that. And what do you do? If it you depends on how big the hole is. If it's, if it's a hole, I'm talking hole, dog. Well, like I'll, I'll tell you about back back in my 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 uh, theft days when I used to take it from the sports authority. Mm-hmm. I used to uh, have a uh, like a strong fucking clipper, and I'd clip the fucking um, security tags off of them. So every time I clipped them off, it would only clip like a certain amount of it, and then you'd have to like pull it. But every time you pulled it, it'd rip like a tiny little hole in it. So every time I went to school, I always had like a hole in the side of my shirt. <laughs> but that's about it. Morgan used to have a shirt this that had a, like seven or eight holes in it. Like hole yeah, in his whole, shirt right the here. The whole piece of fabric just flapping stomach, off. Bro. You know what he called that shirt? His non-self-care shirt? His Sunday shirt. This nigga had a hole oh in the back. God. You got a shirt that's dedicated to a, a day, get rid of it. Nipple. You hear me, Nick? The nipple. You, you got a, a shirt dedicated to no, a day, get rid of it. I'm going to say the whole titty. Oh, did he? This nigga had a No, nah, that whole boob was out, dog. Whole Damn, boob. Damn, dude. You just want to scoop it? Nigga, Every, fuck scoop it. If you, you scoop that, that bitch, he would plate. yell at you, bro. <laughs> he got his boob scooped so much, man. He was like, that's my <laughs> biggest pet peeve. I was like, I mean, you got the bitches <laughs> out. My motherfucker Cody said, I'm going to cut it off, put it in the microwave, heat it up for two minutes. I guarantee Nasty. he's still going to eat it. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> I guarantee he'll still eat it. Nasty, dog. Ugh. On the set. Well, we're 54 minutes in. You want to keep going? Y'all want to hit an hour? Let's hit an hour. Okay, I got to go in for you. Chicken Express or Chick Fil A? The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Uh, okay, uh, hold on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That was rude. Uh, yeah, tell me. There's a huge difference. Okay, if 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 you're smoking on on the Tuca stick, mm-hmm, on that Tuca pack, you're going to Chicken Express. Right, right. If you if you need to get a quick meal in and you need to get some quick ass service, Chick Fil A. Okay. Gun to my fucking dome. Hey, motherfucker, you going to Chick fil A or Chicken Express? Right now, I'm going to fucking kill you. Chick fil A. You're I asking me? That's where you going. you asking me? I'm going to Chicken Express. You got me fucked up. Oh, Chick fil A. Chicken Express? Yeah. Chicken yeah, Express. yeah, yeah, same. Damn. I'm, I'm just saying, dog, Express, dog, you can get a small ass sandwich from Chick fil A, a large lemonade, <laughs> and a large waffle fry for like $10. You can go fucking Chicken Express, get one of them like combo meals, dog, five bucks. Hey, like, feed me the fuck you should've up. should have talked the whole podcast like that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole podcast. That's true, though. I remember I used to go to Chicken saying. Express back in the And their uh, mashed back potatoes, high school, dog. Yeah, I saw what someone peeing in the mashed potatoes before. But that's besides the point. You know what? Apparently, everybody pissing on everything lately. So fuck it. Who got a? I'll eat it. Quick. A lighter? Yeah. That's it. Chapstick. Here. Oh, cool. Try me. Will I go out? Watch this. She about to do. If you're uh, if you're uh, listening at home, Cody's about to blow the whole studio up. Cody think he Houdini in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you think he Houdini in this bitch. You saw that shit. Uh, you got to do his light the so, smoke, baby. So I, I seen a fucking picture of Bill Gates uh, mm-hmm. standing in line for a, a cheeseburger at like a, like a um, small hamburger place mm-hmm. in California. And these motherfuckers put it on Instagram. That's why I hate Instagram sometimes. They put it on there and the caption says... Actually, Even rich people stand in line for. Food. That was basically what the caption was. I got, I got the. Um, 
Say well, it. yeah, he ain't he he isn't in, like anything more than a here's, human. Here's the thing. He says, it says money doesn't mean privilege. Bill Gates winning in line for a burger may be the lesson in humanity a lot of people need. That's the picture. Okay. I love that. He's, okay, right. Let me tell you why I don't fucking love that. Because Bill Gates is a fucking cuck. He's a pussy. I'm Bill Gates. I'm Bill Gates. You don't fucking watch pornography without me, motherfucker. I am part of the reason you get to jack your little cock at night. Okay? So I see a I cup. show up to the burger place. I'm saying, get the fuck out of my way. I'm Bill fucking Gates. I want a double cheeseburger. No, bitch. Make it a triple cheeseburger. <laughs> no, bacon. bitch. Hey, you better go kill the fucking pig right now, motherfucker. I want bacon, cheese, throw a little mayo on there. No lettuce, no tomato. No lettuce, no tomato. And throw some fucking mustard on that bitch. And if I Whoa, bite into it, sauce. if I bite into it and a little mustard falls on my chin, I'm buying this place. I'm firing you. <laughs> this hey, is why you aren't Bill Gates. They don't want me to Bill Gates. They don't. They, they don't want me to be. You couldn't rich. be Bill Gates, dog. You couldn't handle the pressure. They don't want you to be Bill Gates. No, that's why Bill Gates stands in that fucking Gates. line. He allows everybody to stand there, order their pe- their piece as much as they want it. What? I'm smart. As much I time as they want to take, bro. He's Bill Gates. He got he got a lot of time. He got a lot of money. He could stand there. He could wait for a burger. My nigga Warren Buffett go to McDonald's every day to get a Big Mac, dry his Cadillac. <laughs> My nigga, hey. he, he still got a flip phone. Hey, Who, Bill Gates. Uh, uh, Warren Buffett. Mm. I went to the fucking. Uh, I went to go get some fucking food at, or some. I went to get my food at Kroger the other day, and my fucking line was long. I tapped the motherfucker in front of me. I said, "Hey, dog, I'm the Modern Rejects podcast." You, so you mind if I get in front of you? I, I didn't say you mind. I said I'm gonna get in front of you. And she goes, "The what?" I said, "The Modern Rejects podcast." And she goes, uh, "I said SoundCloud." She goes, <laughs> "SoundCloud." I said, "YouTube every Wednesday." She goes. Uh, uh, so that just tells me we're not working hard enough. You know what that means? We need to make flyers and put them on everybody's car. And oh, okay. Hey. Flyers and put them on people's cars. Um, y'all, y'all are allowed to post them up on my work too. Y'all can leave a, a stack of flyers at the door. People grab those flyers all the time. Sweet. You can post them on the door too. Podcast flyers. Why have you never but thought you about know, that? You know what everybody's been telling us to do? Huh. Go YouTube live. Oh, bro. I, I, okay, so this week I'll look into to, to how to do it, and then we'll do it. That's what everybody's like. Why don't y'all go YouTube live? So what I think I'm going to start doing is releasing the video and the SoundCloud at the, on the same day. Okay. But I don't like Mondays. You do Wednesdays Mo- then? Wednesdays. Because Mondays is just like a, everybody's got something going on type shit. It's the first. It's the first of the month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what I'm going to start doing is releasing the podcast and the um, videos <sighs> on Wednesday. What do you think about that? Sounds good to me. Yeah, and then the clips, I'm going to start releasing those on the same day, too. We should just start doing the clips. We should just like just put out clips whenever. From old podcasts, just random new clips. podcasts. Yeah. Well, a lot of the old podcasts I don't have anymore. Okay. Because I had to get rid of them because I didn't have a fucking um, hard drive. You don't have a hard drive? Uh-uh. Like a place to like save the podcast. Oh, oh you're talking about like a SD card or some yeah. shit? Yeah, yeah. I got like thousands of those at home. We'll bring one over. I got it. We hit an hour, my friend. We hit an hour? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, Cody, happy birthday, my friend. Thank you, my guy. 25 for real, for years real. old. Deuce five. You're old as fuck, dog. My boy, five years away. <laughs> you know what that means? I can buy a Camaro year. SS and my insurance be like $100. Watch out for same? those roushes. Yeah. How old are you, Jenna? I turned 21 in July. How many God. fucking times do I have to tell you all that? Dude, I'm 22. Yeah, I'm a baby. What's up? I'm 20. Suck it. Cody, 20. We Cody fucking nephews in this bitch. Y'all niggas young. Uh, Jenna, give Jenna a round, a round of applause for coming to the studio. Happy to be back. Time. Oh, yeah, dude. Am I, the, am I the most consecutive yeah. Yeah. guest? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're the only... Suck you're the my only, dick. Um, re- I know Dylan is. I'm the only female, too. That's true. We're not a lot of females like me and Cody. Yeah, females also suck ass. Yeah, right, yeah. Sorry guys, we all do. Man. We Females all do. Be eating ass and shit. Yeah, yeah. fuck it. I need to each their own, dog. Fat, huh? To each their own. Oh. You want to eat ass? You can eat ass. Whoa. That's your shit. To each their own, like to each their own opinion. You can mm. to each your own. Uh, anyways, bro, fuck y'all, <laughs> dog. <laughs> uh, Jenna, appreciate you coming out. Jenna yeah, will, for sure. Jenna for will sure. be on uh, a lot more, hopefully. 
Yeah, you know, uh, I got the work schedule really buzzing my ass, though. Cody, happy birthday. Thank you, my guy. Bro. This is the Modern Rejects Podcast, episode preach, 16. Preach, preach. Catch you next week. Oh,